Hi, I'm Robert Burton, and I've been helping friends find jobs for more than 40 years now. I've held jobs as a greenskeeper, I studied to be a Roman Catholic priest, I've worked on Wall Street, I've been a real estate broker, and during my days as an actor, I've held probably another 100 jobs. Uh, well, first of all, there are parents. They don't take care of their parents. One of the first things you should do before you uh, arrive for an interview, arrive about 10 minutes early, let them know that you're there, ask your, them if you can use the bathroom, go into the bathroom, check your appearance, make sure everything is clean and right, wash your hands, dry them, take a deep breath, review the person's name that you're going to go in to meet, memorize that, and then when you're ready to walk in, introduce yourself with a good handshake, look somebody directly in the eye, and sit wherever they indicate you should sit. Now, what's the biggest thing that people do wrong? They don't show up on time. They're hurried. They're harried. They never get themselves together. Well, you know what? If someone shows up for an interview late, they're going to show up for work late. And I don't want that kind of a person around. I want somebody that shows up early and stays late without being asked for it. They want to be... I want someone around me that helps me, okay? I want them to want to be around me. And when you find that kind of person, we grow. When you find a person that's only putting in their hours and can't wait to get out, they will be out of a job sooner than you realize. So being late and tardy, oh, killer. And then after that, an attitude. Don't expect too much. One of the things that I also don't like, one of my pet peeves, is somebody that comes in and sits down and says, okay, what do you want me to do? I'm going, if you can't see that what needs to be done, you're not the kind of person I want around here. I want you eyes open, ears open, paying attention to what I'm doing, and then helping me here. Do you need this? Do you need this? When I see someone that's actually observant enough to realize what it is that I need, that anticipates my needs, I want them around me. They're going to be an invaluable asset to me. And those are the kind of people we fight to keep near us. And we pay them well, too, by the way.